evening, morning, you could be in Australia, you could be anywhere. So today's outfit again is about colour, avoiding jeans and trying something different. So, and also the cut is very important. Now these are in, I, I don't want people to think I'm, you know, plugging brands, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to not say the brands, so you don't think I'm plugging them, but then you might say, where did you buy that? Put that in the comments. Would you like to know where they're from, or do you think I'm plugging brands? Put that in the comments. I'm happy to not say the brand, but then you might want to buy this coat, which is from Zara. This is a very important item of clothing to me. It's ridiculous. It's, I, I always buy in the sales. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice from doing this tutorial. I always buy everything in the sales, but this particular thing is 29 euros, so it's like 25 quid. There's no lining to it, so it's almost like a cardigan in a way. So you can wear it as a coat, or you can actually wear it indoors. So again, if you're insecure about this area here, which a lot of people are, because they're pear shaped or you know they're struggling with their weight, buy something like this. It's got no way of closing it. So you don't have to buy a size that you can close it. You can buy a couple of sizes smaller than you. As long as it fits you snugly on the shoulders, even if it sort of flares out a bit here and you're like, Ugh, it doesn't matter. No one's watching whether you're closing your coat. It doesn't have to have buttons and clothes and everything. You can even wear this under your real coat. So let's say you're insecure about your body. You can buy, you can wear a big coat if it's cold outside. You can go to, you know, a soiree, an evening, a business meeting and keep your coat on. Except maybe in a restaurant, maybe it's a bit much. But if you go into like a cocktail party after work that's sort of formal but dressy, you can keep your coat on. And it doesn't matter if it's a bit like that. If it makes you feel confident, wear it a bit like that. Then you don't have to worry about if you've got a saggy bottom that night or love handles or bits of bulging out under your bra and it's cut you off and it's not a coat. You don't want people coming up to you every five minutes saying, do you want to take, can I take your coat, can I take your coat, can I take your coat? It, it is a coat and it's not a coat, you decide. If you decide it's like a gilet type cardigan, then you wear it like that. So I found this uber flattering. You don't, as I say, don't buy any size, buy something that makes you look good here. We all presume with our complexes that when you walk in a room, Everybody's looking at you up and down. Some people are, but most people are engaging with your face. It's what goes on here that's important. Your complexes, probably most of the time, having had all these complexes, are in your head. Nobody, when you walk in a room, is measuring how big you are here, how big your tummy is, how big your bottom is. But this small detail can be everything. It hides a lot and it gives you confidence for 25 quid wear this and the fact that it doesn't have the buttons here means that you can treat it as a jacket not a coat so feel comfortable keeping it on the whole evening if that makes you feel good now again the trousers are important I have a problem with a high waist which is again we all have things in our head that we think are the end of the world and there are more important things in life but I'm trying to instill confidence in people. I've always hated my high waist. It's practically under my armpits. So it's a terrible problem for me with jeans. So I'm a little bit averse to jeans. Nothing to do with them being grungy. I love jeans and I'm so jealous of Parisian women who are like that and they've got those lovely low hips. You know, I've tried the low hip trousers and it just looks wrong. If you're high waisted, you're high waist. You've got to try and find tips around that. The worst thing for me are those girls that, I mean 18 year old girls, I hate that fashion of those high jeans or whatever you call them because then you've got a problem with your tummy. It's only an 18 year old skinny girl for me that can wear those high jeans. I don't like the belly. So that's not for me. I've got a belly, I'm 53, what are you going to do? So I've managed to have clean lines. It's all tricks, it's all mirages, as my sister says, it's all smoke and mirrors. So let's learn those smoke and mirror tricks. Now, I'm doing a long video again because I'm going into detail, but I think that's why you're here. You want to know about the detail, otherwise, what's the point? So, let's talk about the trouser. The trouser, um, again, Zara, these trousers, everything's more or less the same price in Zara, you know, 29 99 in a sale, 
They're like 19.99, and then the last three days of the sale, they want to get rid of it, seven euros. So I'm the person that gets them for seven euros. Just as an aside, um, I like to talk about budget. I've got mostly low end pricing, and occasionally I do the odd little thing that's a bit more. So watch out for further along the line. I do own a Marsh skirt, a Marsh dress, of course in the sale, the higher end products. So I'll be, for those people that are not into this, don't worry, don't worry. There's higher end stuff coming. I just wanted to mention the shoes. I haven't, I'm tired and I don't have the patience to try out all the different shoes. I've got tons and tons of shoes, which for the, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm really concentrating on this part. I'll do many more tutorials if you want me to. Shoes, 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 boots and all that stuff. That's not what is the most important thing. I'm doing the top part. There's too many things to talk about, so I'm just sticking to this. So I want to talk about the t-shirt. Oh, did I finish the dress? Okay, the trousers. I like having a stripe down the side. It gives it that bit of mm. So, um, and again, I was talking about the high waist. So I like to buy things. This has got one of those sort of elasticated waist. I like to buy things that drop down to hide the fact that I've got this high waist. I will do some tutorials on skirts that I wear that I do wear up here that work for me. And then I'll explain all the, diff all the different other types of skirts and everything. So length of the trouser is important. You, what I want you to do, I like to give you all something to do after this video because it's all very well watching the video, but are you going to put it into practice, ladies? Are you going to put it in practice? So when you finish this video, don't go and have a cup of tea. Go like this and think, hmm, did I learn something today? Go in your closet and try and find and see if you've got a trouser like this that you'd forgotten about. Pop it on and see if you think, oh, I see what she means. Dress it up with a belt. This coat will co cover a multitude of sins. And I promise you, if you buy a coat like this, even if it's out of your comfort zone, somebody somewhere, because it's so different to what you would normally wear, would say, oh, you look lovely today. And it's the coat. This t-shirt, Going on to t-shirt. This top, it was one euro in the HMN sale, HMN sale. I bought it last week. It was one euro. What's that? 80p. God knows what the money situation is with Brexit. I've totally lost track. So you tell, let me know what the exchange rate is. I have no idea. I saw it. It's size XSS. I thought, what am I going to do with that? It's this big. And I thought, I'm going to bloody do something with that for one euro. I thought, at worst, it'll go in the bin. So I bought it. And I can just about get away with it without the coat. But buy something for the colour. Don't worry, if, you, if you're going to keep this on all evening, don't worry about what's happening with your cellulite, your arms, your chubby this and your chubby that. Don't worry about that. Buy it for the colour. Again, I was talking earlier about waking up the face. This blue is a perfect colour for adding something to your complexion. If I was wearing a white t-shirt thinking, oh, I'll wear a white t-shirt because that's a white stripe, I'd be washed out. It does not suit me wearing white, grey and grey, washed out. Always got to introduce that boom factor. Now, sort of straight off the subject, I just wanted to talk about this little thing here. It's a funny little thing. I bought it in CNA in Paris. It was 15 euros and I thought, oh, 15 euros, it's like this fake fur piece of tat. I thought, I know it seems silly because I don't like to spend 15 euros on a piece of rubbish, but I could sense that it was going to do something. So I just want to show you how obscure, unusual items can do a lot. You probably see this on some of the pictures. So I put this on. You see with the coat, oh, I'm too nervous, I can't do it. Up. You get the idea. Now, can you see what that's doing? It's breaking up this light grey colour and it's changing the complexion of my face again. And not only that, it's adding huge amounts of glamour. Again, these are just my opinions, take it or leave it. It adds a huge amount of glamour. When I, I don't want people to look at me in the street and say, ooh, I want to feel good about myself. So it's not about that, ladies. It's about, ladies tend to want to look good for other ladies, not because they're trying to attack ladies of our age, not because we're trying to attract other men. So I do this not for other men to look at me, it's for that when I arrive at my friend's house for a cup of tea and I'm wearing this, she will say, 
oh that's very cute and that that little interaction makes me happy so can you see the difference between that being on here and that being off massive difference now what's good about this is i've got lots of different coats and you can wear it with all of them so it was 15 euros but that 15 euros has gone a very long way so don't like my tutorials to be too long but again they are my first one so i'm just going to do that so i just wanted to give this as a second option i don't think i'll take the time to put it on because we're all getting fed up with the sound of my voice but this was a coat from uniqlo which was don't know if you know Jill Sander, it's a very, very high-end brand. Jill Sander, her dresses, I think, are like 2,000 euros. But you know how they do these collections with the, with the other brands. So Jill Sander, this, this collection with Uniqlo, and it's called Plus J. And I got this for like 20 quid. I mean, it, it wasn't that expensive to begin with. It was probably about 80 quid, but I got it for like 20. It's a beautiful, beautiful raincoat. Am I wearing Jill Sander? Yes and no, she's in collaboration with another brand. But, you know, it makes me feel happy that I'm thinking that maybe I'm wearing Jill Sander. But never mind, it's very, very nice quality. And I'm, I'm not talking about it for that. Talking about it because of the blue on the inside. As soon as I bought, when I was in H&M buying this top for one euro, I knew I had to cope with the blue lining. And I knew I could do something with that. I wasn't sure what. I'm too tired to put it on now and you're all getting very bored. But when I put this on and it sort of opens up, the little reminder of the blue here and the blue here pops. So again, there's a relationship between this and this. You might not see it when it's closed up, but then you've got that, that sort of peekaboo feeling of showing something. It's like when a man, sometimes men have like a very dark suit and then the lining is sort of violet or bright pink and they pop off the jacket and you go, oh, didn't see that one coming. It's like details like that that add a little bit of joy. And some people are very quiet and they don't like to talk. So if you give them a little bit of something to engage in conversation, again, that's important. I'm not just here to talk about clothes. I'm here to talk about feeling good about yourself, having confidence, trying different things. So ladies, remember to send me a photo of what you're up to this evening. And I don't mean... You know what I mean. Anyway, that's all for now.